your girl Shay Love and I'm back with another video in today's video. I ain't gonna do <laughs> Oh my gosh, I gotta give y'all a tour when I stop, but I'm so excited. Y'all know how long I've been waiting for a car. Like, do y'all really know how long it's been since I did not have a car? This is like the happiest moment of my life. I mean, even though it's a used car, I cannot afford like you know those new up-to-date cars or anything at the moment i'm hoping you know i will someday but as of right now all i can for are used cash cars i paid forty seven hundred dollars for this car and it is a 2012 Ford Taurus. like it is so nice it's clean like y'all and excuse my mask i'm uh at Kane's trying to get some food um yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to uh, get home so I can show y'all, give y'all the tour. Like, I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's my first up-to-date car. Because my very first car was a 1990 Buick Le And then I had a 2005 GMC Envoy XL that I recently just lost the beginning of... No, 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 I'm lying. I recently just lost that car... Was it the beginning of this year? Yeah, it was. It was the beginning of this. No, no, it wasn't. It was, um... Was it? Yeah, it was at the beginning of this year. I had, um... I lost my car because my tire popped off on the um, passenger side. Like, the lug nuts and everything broke. Like, completely broke off, like... When I say completely, excuse my hair, I did my own hair, y'all. It looked like who did and what for at the moment because it just does. I oh, don't I think it's edge control. Yeah, it's edge control. Um, at the moment, like who did and what for because I have not done my edges, but I finished my hair last night. But that's for a different video. But I'm excited. I can't wait to get the guys to show you guys the inside of the car. Like, I can only get partials right now. But... Let's get off into it. Can't wait to show y'all. Bye. Okay, so now that I've got home and situated, y'all ready to see my car? Y'all ready to see my car? Because I'm ready to show y'all real talk. Like, y'all do not, like, I can't really even say, like, where, I don't even know. Hold on. So anyway, I got a Ford Tourist 2012. Ford Tourist 2012. Um. So let's 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 show how that looks. Say hello to my new car, you guys. Y'all see that? It's the car for me. Like y'all look. I'm so proud of myself. Like, to be honest, I never really had a decent car till now. Like, y'all see this? Like, I'm not no famous YouTuber or a famous social media person because I don't have that many people following me or subscribe. So I can't afford all the new and improved cars. But y'all can't tell me I this is not a decent car. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is Miss Gray. Like 50 shades of gray. Get it. <laughs> Not too loud. But look at it, y'all. Y'all, look. She is beautiful. Show y'all the inside. Don't mind my inside. I'm just trying to do some stuff. I mean, because I'm kind of going to have like, I'm going to get like a blue fluff steering wheel thing, but the fluffy one. And then like the little seat guards and then a little gear thing. And then I'm still trying to, I'm still working on my doors. So, yeah, I'm just being me, being creative. Y'all see this? Like, I put some LED lights in here. Y'all want to see them? Hold on. See that? I'm proud. I'm really proud, for real. Like, y'all can't tell me I didn't do my diddy with buying this car whether it was a lot of money or less money like look at this 
Y'all can't see me. Do my day. Yeah, I just yeah, came. This is my new car. I'm loving it. And it has 222,000 miles on it. So I only paid like 5,000 for it, which I don't care. Because like I said, the other cars I've had in the past were like a 1990 La Sabre. And then I had a 2005 GMC Envoy. So I'm really proud of myself for this car right here. Like I'm in love. I don't care if it's cheap. And I don't care if y'all mad that it's cheap. It was to where I could afford it. And I'm proud of it. I really am. Like for real. Y'all do not understand what it's like. Y'all don't understand what it's like to come from somewhere where you ain't got it like that. Like, I didn't have it growing up. Like, everything I have now, I work hard for. And, and it sucks to know that people think everything was handed to me and it wasn't. I had to work for everything. Like, everything I own, I had to work for. Y'all, I had to work for this car. Like I said, it may not be much compared to you you guys, you YouTubers and stuff like that. But this is a lot for me. Like, this is worth a lot. And like I said, I'm very, very proud of myself. And I can't stress that enough. I'm going to cut my air on because it's hot in here. But I can't stress that enough. Like, y'all... When I say I'm proud, I'm really proud of myself. Like y'all, only if y'all knew how I feel like I want to cry right now or tears of joy because this is something I really work for. And not only like tears of joy, but it's like I want to cry as well because only if you knew where I came from and how I grew up, I grew up, I ain't going to say I grew up in poverty because anything I needed it, I need it. Like anything that I needed it was no problem for me to have it. But far as getting things that I want, I could not get that because we did not have money. <coughs> Excuse me. Choked on my own speed. We did not have that much money. We were on a fixed income. So a lot of stuff, I didn't, growing up, I didn't get the latest phones or the newest shoes. All my shoes had to come from like Payless or, you know, regular shoe store sometimes even walmart and i have name brand shoes it may not even be a lot but i have like maybe five pair of name brand shoes and that's not a lot i promise you it's not a lot but it's the fact that i pay for it myself like everything i have i work for like i have a nice apartment i have a nice car my kids are well taken care of whether i'm living check to check or not but I'm really proud of myself. Um, but that's all for this video. I love you all. Thank you for all the ne the negative and positive comments that I may or may not get on this video. I love y'all. And see you in the next video. Love. Bye.